Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is find a corresponding node of a binary tree and a clone of that tree. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we're given two binary trees, an original and a cloned. And we're going to be given the reference to a node inside of the original tree. It's going to call target. Now, the clone tree is an exact copy. It's a replica of the original tree. Um, and what they want us to do is return a reference to the same node in the clone tree that is in the original tree. So we had like two trees here, the original and the cloned. We want to return the same node and that's gonna be given to us by target and, but return the same node inside of the cloned tree. So that give you a bunch of examples here. I don't know why they give you so many, uh, but here's some constraints. The number of nodes is whatever and the value of the nodes of the tree are unique. Hmm, so if all these values are unique, first off, this is a this is just a binary tree. It's not sorted in any way, so we're going to have to look at every single node. So it doesn't really matter how we traverse, but given that all the values are going to be unique, why do we even need to search the original tree? We just need to search the clone tree, right? And just find that value of our target. So this is really easy then. We, all we need to do is um, traverse through the tree however you like. Generally, I like to do a depth first search, and what we'll do is pass in the node, say if not node, I just return, and otherwise, else if the node dot value is equal to the target dot value, then return this node. To pass that, we just do a depth first search for the left and a depth first search for the right. And we can do a or here. And what this is gonna allow us to do is, as long as we return none, we'll make that explicit, it's gonna return um, whatever is populated. So we'll return this node here. So really, um, just have to return this depth first search of the cloned. And we have target up here. We don't even need the original, right? Just see if that works. Syntax equals equals and looks like that's working so let's submit that and there we go accepted so this surprised me um, I did not expect that to work so easily but they do give you a follow-up well what if could we solve the problem if repeated values on the tree are allowed okay so that's different right because if there's the same numbers then the value, uh, we can't just use the value to check what's in the clone tree. We're going to have to traverse through the original tree as well and find the exact same position as that reference to this target node. Okay, but that's actually not too bad either. All we need to do is still do a depth first search, but what we're going to do is tra traverse through both of the trees at the same time. So we can have two nodes here, and node 1 will be the original node. That's going to be what we checked, find our target. And we'll say, all right, node that value, um, or I'm sorry, node that one. Once you're equal to target, we're going to return node two. And just pass in node that one left here. Uh, it'd be pretty similar. Just got to do both nodes now. And this one for the right side. So what's going on here? Well, we're really doing the same thing. The only thing that's different is now we're traversing through both of the trees. And as soon as this target here is equal to the original one, um, we're going to be at the same position inside of the clone tree. So we return that node. And that would be it. Uh, we just return the original and return the clone. Okay, pass into clone, see if this works. And accepted. All right, so this um, this looks like a very easy solution, an easy easy problem. I, in fact, I think I saw some people complain in the comments, but you know, it's not always about the algorithm, right? Sometimes it's about the question itself, understanding what's needed and all the constraints, and being able to explain it. So I wouldn't say this is that easy. Uh, it actually got stuck a couple of times before I realized this is actually not that bad. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't think it's good to underestimate any sort of problems like this. All right, so I think that's it.
thanks for watching my channel and remember do not trust me i know nothing <laughs>